Hi, this is Miles Marie, the soldier of Mary. Today I want to talk to you about an apparition of Our Lady that occurred within the parish of Fatima. In fact, I went there, I went to the shrine and shortly I'll be showing you my visit around the shrine and and showing you the the my what I captured while I was there last summer. So the children of Fatima, Francisco, Jacinta, Lucia, visited this shrine. They visited it every year for to gain the indulgence that's available for visiting the shrine a certain weekend, I think in the month of July. Here we go. Here's me entering into the shrine now. So it's, a, it's an amazing little shrine which has an apparition attached to it. So Our Lady's apparition in the Covidaria was actually not the first in the parish of Fatima. The first was this this apparition of Our Lady of Ortiga. Our Lady of the Nettles. I understand now that Ortiga refers to nettle. So here we go as I'm walking through the church. And I'll give you some more information on the apparitions as the video continues. So we've entered the shrine of Our Lady of Ortiga. Seems like an earlier chapel that was here. Here we have the plenary indulgence from Pope Pius VII for those who approach this shrine a certain day of the year are able to receive a plenary indulgence under the normal conditions. Here is Our Lady of Ortega, enthroned above the tabernacle. There are some prayer cards and information leaflets. Let's have a look at the Spanish one. The English one has, has run out. The tradition tells that Our Lady appeared to a shepherd girl who was looking after her flock in the place of Ortiga, Portugal. Oh, okay, so Our Lady asked her, asked the little girl, for a sheep. The little one, who was mute, she couldn't speak. I mean, she felt herself cured, and ran to give the news to her dad. He, when he heard this, when he heard the little one speaking, he was filled with admiration and went to the area to see what happened. Our Lady then asked that the chapel might be built a little chapel might be built there where they would be given many graces and this has uh, been, come to pass even to this day from many places they approach pilgrims and their requests are are heard Pope Pius the seventh bestowed conceded, bestowed the jubilee to this chapel in the year 1801 to gain each year on the first Sunday of July and the days following 
of the same month. I think conceding the Jubilee is, is the indulgence. So that's the story of, of Our Lady of Ortega. Someone else is in the church now, so I'll keep quiet. You can actually see outside on the text a bit more detail about the story. The thing I found interesting there is that Our Lady asked for the lamb and the mute girl replied that she would not give Our Lady the, the lamb or the sheep without the permission of her dad. Um, it's quite a nice touch, isn't it? Um, then she went to, she ran to her dad. Um, she ran to the dad. And that's when he was amazed uh, to hear the whole story. We don't know <laughs> if our lady got the sheep. I don't know what she would have done with it. Um, anyway, there's a bit more about the story. Hopefully you can help me fill in the blanks. So there we have it, my visit to the Shrine of Our Lady of Ortega. I always make sure to go there when I visit Fatima. I think on memory, I think it takes about an hour to walk there from Fatima. I usually, I always walk there. I've never hired a car in, in Fatima. You can walk there. Um, you basically, you walk up to the parish church, you keep going past the parish church, and then you turn left. You turn left and you keep walking down that road and eventually as you go down that road you get to the the little the hamlet of Ortega. There's there's nothing in Ortega really. There are houses actually, it's residential. I didn't see many shops, uh, but there uh there is a um that's where the church is in that so I think it was about an hour, an hour walk. I always pray as I'm going there and it's kind of a prayerful uh, pilgrimage. Um so I hope that you're able to go there too next time you visit um, and ask for Our Lady, Our Lady of Ortega's intercession. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.